Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a customized website using Google Labs Stitch and Claude in just a few minutes. We're going to start off with Google Labs. We're going to scroll down to Stitch. And Stitch turns simple prompts or images into a desktop or a mobile UI design and front end code for our websites. You're going to click try it now. That's going to take us to the Stitch prompt page. And here we can enter in our prompt for our new website. Right now it's on mobile. I'm going to use it for the web version of jmartin.consulting. I'm looking at adding a new web page for my weekly newsletter. So I'm just going to give it a quick prompt and say, OK, AI accounting weekly newsletter. Keep it simple. See what Stitch can create. So I'm going to click on Generate Designs. And we'll see what we're going to get for our desktop version of our website page. And there we go. In a matter of seconds, we have a website design upper left hand corner of AI Accounting Weekly. We have a subscribe button, a header, a nice image, some of uh, AI news, upcoming webinars, feature articles. We also have some tabs for the user to navigate. But one thing, as we notice, is can't click within it. So how are we going to even further customize this web page. What we can do within Stitch, it's going to provide us the HTML code. Go so from here, we're going to grab that code. Over here, you can see the code. Just going to copy the code over to our Claude. And we're going to prompt Claude to further customize our website. So I want to add in a logo to the upper left hand corner. We go back to our design. We can see it's just a container. I have a customized website for logo for jmartin.consulting. So here, I'm just going to prompt it. Add it. my logo that is attached to the HTML code. I'm just going to go to my WordPress website. I'm going to grab my URL for my logo. This is the URL. Put that in. And then we're just going to head over, grab that code again, and then paste that into Claude. So Claude is going to be updating our HTML. This is where, again, further customization in just a matter of minutes. We can see in our artifact in Claude, it's adjusting our HTML code, tailor it to my given logo design. See that Claude has finished updating HTML. So let's just read its response back. Said, perfect, I've updated your HTML to include your custom logo. So awesome. Let's go in and copy the updated HTML that Claude provided. Let's test this out on my WordPress page that I designed. So here, we're just adding a block custom HTML, and then we're just going to copy and paste it over. We're going to save the draft, and then we're just going to preview in desktop our new web page on jmartin.consulting. So we can see, we can verify it's including my AI logo for J. Martin Consulting. Still got the same header and all those different areas of our newsletter. We have the tabs, we have the subscriber button, the title, the image. We can see here, just in a matter of minutes, we have a working website. Yes, we're going to have to do some further customization, but it alleviates that blank page that we have something to start with. Gets us 80% there where 
We just got to bring it home for that rest of the 20%. For further information, check out jmartin.consulting. I wrote a blog on how to use Claude Sonnet 4 to design a custom HTML and CSS for your small business website. This provides some further information about Claude Sonnet 4, why HTML and CSS matter when it comes to website design, and some key components to think about when customizing your website. But thanks for checking out this video, and we'll see you guys next time.